Hi everyone. We're going to do 25 minus 8 today and I'm going to share Azzy's idea with you. So let's make sure that we have 25 first. So we have 10, 20, and then this is 5. Now I'm just going to rearrange it like this so that we can start to think of 5s all in a line in our minds. All right, so here's the idea that Azzy shared with me. So she said, well, I'm going to split this into 5 and 3. So she's going to go 25 minus 5, and then whatever she gets, she's going to then minus 3. So 25 minus 5. Now she said she picked this split because, look, here's the 5. So 25 minus 5 is 20. But she said, well... I can't take away 3 from one of these, so she's actually going to exchange it for 10 individual ones. So here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and she's going to do another 5 here because those bars are worth 10. So let's just make sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So there's still 20 here. So she went 25 minus 5 to give her 20, and then minus the 3. Well, she said, look, I can just move this over. And so she said she had two 5s to give her 10. She just actually moves 3 over, and she's left with 7. So, and then the 10 here. So it's actually, when she takes that away, it's 10 plus 7, which is 17. So 25 minus 8 is 17. Hey everyone, I was working with a student named Daniela. I'm solving 25 minus 8. And the first thing that she said to me was that she didn't want to actually subtract 8, she wants to subtract 10. So here's what she did. She was at 25 and she minus 10 to get to 15. But she knew that was too much and it was too, too much. So she added back 2, which gave her to 17. So 25 minus 8 equals 17.